What's up guys, we're going to be talking about probably the hottest topic in Yu-Gi-Oh! right now. I kind of ignored it for a while, but I just can't ignore it now because it's still being talked about. It is the $80,000 Yu-Gi-Oh! card. You're like, what? $80,000? dollars are talking about Blue Eyes? No, we're not talking about Blue Eyes. We're talking about that Cyber Dragon Mattel card that was recently discovered. So some of you guys are probably wondering, what is the Cyber Dragon Mattel card? So the Mattel action figures are part of a series where they bundled both action figures and a card into one product and sold it at retail stores. So the Cyber Dragon was supposed to be part of that series, but they never included the card with the action figure. They only had the toy. So there's lots of speculation about if the Cyber Dragon even existed because there never was one that showed up until recently one appeared on reddit there was lots of questions about the authenticity the legitimacy of the card it was recently sent to psa and graded which may or may not mean it's actually real because they have graded fake cards before but i think it is safe to say that it is definitely a real card based on the pictures that people have seen the videos that were put up by the guy that found it probably safe to say it's a real card so this 14 year supposedly 14 year old card it was supposed to come out in 2006 has now been uncovered and there's only one of them supposedly this is the only one anyone's ever seen the seller claims to have been offered 80,000 in bitcoin i want to talk about what is the value of this thing is 80,000 a good valuation should someone pay 80,000 dollars for this card should they pay more because he still hasn't sold it he claims he was offered 80 by the way just a claim you don't know when someone says they're offered 80 even if they show a screenshot of like ebay that doesn't mean anything they could have made another account yada yada all that crazy stuff so may or may not have been offered. I know a lot of people have offered over 10,000. So let's just say over 10,000. We could even say up to 80. So 10 to 80,000, whatever it is. Is this card worth 10 to 80,000? I'm going to give pros and cons of why I think this card could or could not be worth this much. So let's start with the pros. The pros of this card, there's only one of them. Right now, there's only been one discovered. So that could also be a con. We'll get to that. But there's only one of them right now, which is just absolutely insane. The second thing is the lore behind this card I had never even heard of this. I've heard of the Mattel Bubble Man and all that stuff from Yu-Gi-Oh! 2, but I never heard of this Cyber Dragon that supposedly didn't exist or existed or whatever, like the craziness. But all these other people have heard about it because I only got back into Yu-Gi-Oh! in 2018. So I was not around for all this stuff, but it seems like a lot of even meta players have heard about this and they were fascinated. They're like, whoa, I, I've heard of this. You know, this is crazy. Like someone should get it. Someone should pay a lot for it. And meta players don't really keep up with collectible markets. If you guys go on like a meta channel and you read the comments, and if they're ever talking about collectibles, they're just like, collectors are idiots. They pay way too much for cards. That's what they think. So for them to actually be interested in the Cyber Dragon fascinated me because at first I was like 80,000, you know, 10,000 for this card, not even 80,000, like 10,000. Like I'm not interested, you know, but all these people were so interested. I was like, maybe I'm missing something because... The lore behind this card is crazy. People have loved it. People have apparently been talking about it for many years. So that that's the pros for this card. Those are all the pros. That's all the pros I can give. Maybe if you like the uh, Mattel rarity, it is pretty unique. There's not many cards like it. It's pretty cool, actually. But let's segue into the cons. This card has the same risk as any other TCG card that you would buy. So if you bought like something really expensive like a Blue Eyes, you spent like 80k or 50k or 30k or 20k, whatever they are then you have the risk of the card getting damaged, lost, stolen, all that stuff. Those are all reasons why investing in a TCG slash buying TCG cards is a little bit dangerous. So this card comes with that risk, $80,000. It is now graded, so it isn't a protective PSA case, which is good. It's better than a raw card. But the main thing I want to say about this card is there's only one right now. But the original intent, if you think about it, the original intent of this card was to be distributed in retail stores. That means that they intended to have thousands of this card so we haven't seen thousands of this card we've only seen one but the intent originally was to put thousands into stores they did not print one of this card i can guarantee that because you don't print one card there's sheets of cards that they print so originally there were more than one there was probably way more than one i'm guessing that they either scrapped them because they decided they didn't want to put that in there anymore for some you know whatever the reason was they scrapped the extra cards or they're just sitting somewhere, which is the scariest part. If you spend $80,000 on a card because you think it's the only one, only to have thousands or hundreds or even tens of more of them appear, 
that would be crazy. Like it would destroy your card's value. It would be really bad. That is just, it's just really scary to spend that much money on a card that was originally intended to have thousands, but it doesn't now. Like a prize card, they were not intended to have thousands. They were intended to have tens. They were intended to have threes, five. Cyber signs up to over a hundred, but still it's only intended to have like a hundred and something. While this one is intended to have probably, I'd guess, tens of thousands. To pay 80,000 for a card that is pop one because it's pop one, but it's supposed to be more, it's scary. It's really scary because there's been a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh cards that were found later on, like Dark Paladin Corrected Art, someone graded like 30 of them. Everyone thought they were super rare. Then all of a sudden, 30 of them were graded at once. That's scary. You know, some people had stacks of 50 of them. If something like that were to happen to an $80,000 card, what's that card become now? $1,000, maybe even that, probably even less. That's pretty much the main reason I would be wary about buying this card. I know 80,000 is different to different people. Like for me, $80,000, like that's crazy. I would, I would not spend that on pretty much any card, even a blue eyes, because it would just knock me out. It's too much money. But people that have, you know, millions, maybe they, oh, you know what? Let's, tr let's get this really cool one off card it's a little bit of a different thing for them. I don't like usually give my opinion on this kind of stuff, but I, it's been talked about so much and I'm just super wary about it. So I'm probably not talking to the person who offered 80K if they did, but uh, I would think about it because it is a little bit scary to spend that much money on a card that I believe there's probably more out there. So that's it. If you guys stuck around to the end, you'll have a chance to win the giveaway. We did it at the end this time. We'll be giving away these three cards. All you got to do is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know in the comments what you think about the $80,000 Yu-Gi-Oh card. I want to know your guys' thoughts because I'm certainly wowed and fascinated by everything that's gone down. Just a random card. Like, not even a bit, like, it's just a random Cyber Dragon card. It's kind of crazy to me, but it's also really cool to see what can happen in collectibles, TCGs, Yu-Gi-Oh. I always love it. I don't care if the guy spins 80 or not. I think it's cool either way, even if I don't agree with it. But yeah, that's it for this video. See you guys later. Peace. Oh! Yeah. Oh. Elemental Hero, Dark Bright. Boom! Oh! <laughs>